consultants. Today is another topic that I want to share with you. Um, one mom messaged me and asked me advice about the right nipple, breast, a bottle nipple that she wants to use because she's going back to work and her baby did not like the body. Okay, the baby did not like the body. She's going back to work. So she's really struggling now. Sabi niya, my three weeks pedosia before she goes back to work. So I'm doing this video. I'm hoping that this video will be able to help you on how you can help the, to, trans, to transition breastfeeding into the body. Okay, so I showed this one to you before regarding the right nipple for the baby. Okay. Uh, alam kong maraming mga babies ngayon na they're really struggling to fall in love with a bote when moms goes back to work. May mga babies din na they're really struggling on how to latch into the breast dahil they started bote at the hospital. So <laughs> either either from bote to breast or breast to bote, may problema talaga. So, so I want to help you how we can solve this problem dahil ma ma mahirap talaga for a mom na she's going back to work the fact na um, malayo siya sa anak niya for 8 hours going to work nag-iisip pa siya if the baby is really feeding well from the bote uh, if the caregiver is struggling feeding the baby so just to give you peace of mind before you go back to work that you really need to establish this problem of uh, bottle feeding before you go back to work. Now, in, in my experience uh, breastfeeding clinical, um, sa mga nanay na wanting to go back to work and always focus on the body maybe a month before, Sometimes hindi mabilis. Sometimes hindi mabilis. As I mentioned before, hindi ito magic na within 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 few days matitrain nyo ka agad si baby on how to fall in love with your with the body. Now, it's going to take a while, depende again sa sa bote na ginagamit nyo. I've heard na may mga moms that they're only allowed 3 months maternity leave. So during that time, 3 months lang si baby during that time, minsan si baby hindi pa marunong maghawak ng bote. Because normally, the baby is able to hold the bote about six, about five to six months na marunong na si baby maghold ng bote. So could you imagine doon sa mga moms going back to work only, am I correct? Somebody messaged me and told me that the 100 plus days sa maternity leave, ganun lang, ganun lang ka, ka, kadali yung maternity leave. Dito kasi sa Canada, ang maternity leave namin dito, pwede kang, pwede kang mag-extend ng one year and a half. Pag ikaw na nanay, papayagan ka ng company na mag-extend ka one year and a half. Uh, si daddy, pwede din si daddy na mag-paternal materna, paternal leave uh, habang may baby sila. Up to six months, pwede na mag-extend si dad ng up to a year. Depende sa management, pero talagang obliged dito ang management na magbigay ng one year maternity leave sa lahat ng nanay. Okay? And then, if si nanay wants to extend another six months, then papayagan si nanay na mag-extend ng six months. Six months. Ganun kaganda ang maternity leave dito. Um, when it comes to compensation, uh, medyo mataas ng konti kumpara sa compensation dyan sa ating bansa. Normal naman yun dahil talagang very high standard of living dito sa ibang bansa. Ang mahal ng whatever you buy there, minsan triple ang binabayad namin dito. So, pag kung sasabihin nyo nandito kami sa ibang bansa na ang laki ng sahod, blah, blah, blah. Almost mga nanay din dito, mga nanay na may mga babies, nagsasuffer din because again, sa mahal ng diaper, sa mahal ng baby goods, lahat-lahat na. So, Parang, if, if you really think about it, parang mas, mas uh, it's cheaper to live there at it's cheaper to buy kung ano yung mga gamit ng bata as kumpara dito sa mga binibili namin dito. We're paying big price living here and um, buying the goods na ginagamit namin para sa sarili namin and for the baby. So, going back to, to the bote. Now, 
I mentioned this before, there are so many types of bote dyan sa Pilipinas as kumpara sa amin dito. Dito ang bote namin, ang mga siguro, ang pinaka uh, common na uh, nakikita ko sa mga tindahan dito sa Canada ng bote, mga tatlong brand lang. Tatlong brand lang talaga yun. Uh, dyan sa Pilipinas, siguro 10 times yun. So, ibig sabihin 30 times, 10 times, ganun kadami ang bote dyan magpipiliin nyo. So, you feel confused when you know what type of bote you you, you want to buy dahil nga sa dinami-dami ng mga selections, sa dinami-dami ng presyo, sa may napakamahal, may tiktik of 1,000 pesos, 500 pesos, may mumurahin, etc. etc. Um, overall, lahat ng um, nakikita kong um, bote, kalimitan plastic. Kalimitan plastic. The safest container for our milk, breast milk, is glass. I mentioned this before. So, I mentioned this before when you're pumping that you can put the best is in your glass. Sa bote din, ganun din. That if baby is still small na hindi pa marunong maghawak si baby dahil mabigat pag glass yung bote ni baby, right? So, if, if you're choosing a, a bottle na glass yung bote niya, go for it. Kasi yun talaga yung pinaka-safest sa lahat ng containers for our milk. Dahil, I've said this before, lahat ng plastic containers, especially with the water bottle containers, dumaan yun sa test. That was 2000, 2000 I think, 2020 test. Alam niyo ba nakikita nila sa, sa test nila sa bu lahat ng bote, bote na plastic, sa tubig lang na, tubig? May nakikita silang minute, minute particles ng plastic in the tubig. How much more? Compare nyo yan sa bote plastic na ginagamit ninyo and you store your breast milk or your formula there for 4 hours when you're before you breastfeed. Do you think safe yun? Sabihin natin wala nang safe ngayon. Everything has little minute plastic sa mga containers natin. That's why uh, in some countries, they really prevent using plastic dahil nga it can prevent cancer. Kasi could you imagine yung mga minute particles ng plastic kung dadalo yun sa mga, mga arteries nyo, sa blood, sa dugo natin, saan, kung saan saan yun papasok sa katawan natin, kaya kalimitan, hindi na allowed, hindi nila ina-allow talaga nyo laging plastic, 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 lalo na yung mga mumurahing, mumurahing plastic, which is very common talaga dahil mahirap bumili ng tugtag isang libong bote or 2,000 pesos bote, that's they're very expensive. At sinasabi pa nila, ito yung the safest plastic ever. Mm -mm. Sa, based on sa research na, na, um, na nabasa ko kahit siguro gaano ka uh, mamahalin yung plastic sa bote ninyo plastic pa rin yun and sometimes when you store store your milk there for a long time contamination can be can happen anytime pero pag glass container ang ini-stackan nyo sa gatas ninyo before you go back to work it's safer it's safer yun so even though sa glass container nyo, normally plastic yung lid, right? Okay lang yun. Kasi hindi naman all the time natatouch yung, yung milk natin doon sa plastic na yun. Only here. Ito yung pinakamportante, the body of it. So, mga nanay, mag-umpisa na kayong mag-save ng mga, mga uh, tawag nito, jars ng mga kape, mga, mga kung ano-ano mga jars ng nabibili natin mga cheese whiz or anything jars. Ito yung sinasabi ko, anything jars sa bahay ninyo na may takip. Keep it. If you are trying to save your, your milk, use the glass instead of the plastic okay now going back to to the that's for the bottle okay that's for the bottle now for the nipple i've said this one before so this was this was just uh this is 
a very cheap quality of nipple. Nakikita niyo ito anywhere in the market, okay? Sa mga bangketa, anywhere. Nakikita niyo itong mga very cheap uh, plastic nipple, a uh, rubber nipple. Ang hahanapin natin is silicone nipple. Yun yung medyo mahal. Yun yung it can last longer. Yun yung it's safer for the baby. And it's a better texture na very close to the texture of your breast nipple when the baby is sucking. So, if you want to pick the right nipple, uh, kaya ng gulsa, if you have the budget for it, choose the soft silicone nipple, okay? And I've always mentioned this before, I want you to use a wider base. So, if you compare that, see, kung ano ang pinaka wide, which one is a wider base, I like this because it, again, it mimics the shape of your breasts, okay? When you do that. So always remember, when you're, when you're trying to choose the right uh, nipple, um, I'm gonna repeat this. It should be a straight nipple, no denture, indented, whatever shape, okay? Because you see this one in the market, it says, oh, this would really fit the baby's gum. Oh, this would really fit the baby's mouth. This would really fit blah, 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 denture the fact, etc., etc. Nada, nothing. Don't follow what they said. Follow what I said. Because we study this and we learn this from years of our experience, okay? A straight nipple, no dented nipple. Bawal, nada, nothing, okay? Straight nipple, slow flow for small uh, days old, months old babies. When the baby starts five months, three months, then you can improve whatever flow you want. You can do the medium, you can do the fast. So again, straight, no dented, um, soft, straight, and a wider base. Yun lang po ang rule ko, okay? Do not follow whatever those, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, I mentioned this before, um, I was pretending, I was pretending shopping at, at the mall, department store with, uh, what do you call this one? Co j just try to compare the prices of bote. And I was just pretending that I was ignorant. Ako yung ignoranting tao that I don't know about nipples. I don't know. And there's this lady saying, oh, this one is anti-colic. Oh, this one is anti, 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 anti. Ta-da! There's no such thing as anti-colic, anti-whatever in the body, okay? It is how you hold the body, how you hold and watch this, watch my video, okay? On how, what's about, about uh, paste bottle feeding. You really learn good things about from that because that video would really demonstrate you on how to prevent gas, how to prevent colic, etc etc so it's the way how you hold that bottle when you're feeding the baby if your caregiver before you go back to work doesn't know how to hold the bottle train that caregiver either your mother-in-law your your kasambahay your older sister or whoever is feeding this baby teach that person on how to hold the bottle properly again when you hold the bottle, repeat again, <laughs> repeat again, okay? When you hold this bottle, make sure that you hold it not too vertical, but slightly horizontal, that there is no air in this. So watch that video because that video is very important for you and for your caregiver. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, like this video, do your comments, okay? Share this video if you like. Dahil maraming mga nanay ngayon nangangailangan ng mga ng tulong on how to uh, choose the right bottle when you go back to work. Bye for now. More videos to come.